Let's talk about the two words that strike fear into the hearts of any online store. Cart abandonment. Hey, it's Talish at Printify. 86% of online shoppers tend to abandon their carts because of the cost of shipping. So let's talk about why you should consider offering free shipping as well as how you can make that happen. And if you don't want to abandon all the tips and tricks you need to succeed, hit that subscribe button for weekly videos to stay up to date with Printify. Let's get something straight right off the bat. There is no such thing as free shipping. No matter what it is, having something delivered anywhere always costs money. The difference is, is that if your customer isn't paying for it, then you are. That said, in the prime and next day delivery world we live in, customers still actively look for it. 59% of consumers say brands offering free shipping improve their online shopping experience, which makes sense. Free shipping is a great incentive for a customer to act. It gives them a reason to think about adding more items to their cart to get more value and reminds them how much they don't like paying for something they're used to getting for free. So before you start thinking of free shipping only in terms of a loss to your profit margin, the more orders you'll start getting as a result will quickly offset that difference. Overall, free shipping does significantly reduce cart abandonment and improve conversion rates. The most common method of offering free shipping is by using a minimum threshold. This is when shipping becomes free only after customers spend a certain amount. Now, this can get a little tricky because that amount or threshold has to be priced carefully. Too high and customers won't be willing to spend that much and may give up entirely too low and it'll obviously leave a huge dent in your profit margins. Now, you could avoid the decision entirely by pricing your products a little higher to include shipping, but realistically, selling a $6 product with $5 for shipping for $11 isn't likely to end well either. Despite the free shipping, customers will still avoid overpaying for a cheaper product. So you have to meet your customers in the middle by paying a portion of the shipping yourself. Figuring out the right portion for you will help give you a good minimum threshold. To do this, you have to determine the average amount a customer usually spends on your store. This is known as an average, or in some cases, a median order value. It's an amount that gives you an equal chance of orders coming in above or below that value, and includes a shipping cost that usually covers about half the amount a customer pays. So say, for example, that your average order value is $40 and shipping is $20. By covering half of that cost, you're left with a minimum threshold of $50 to offer free shipping to your customers. Keep in mind that there isn't a one-size-fits-all solution to calculating a free shipping threshold. It's going to look different for everyone because there are other factors to also consider. Transaction fees, duties, taxes, product size, weights, and geography all get taken into account. So along with calculating the right threshold for you, it's equally important to test it. One way is to offer free shipping with a more expensive product for a limited time. Then promote it with a social proof badge like available for 48 hours only on social media. Check what kind of response you get and see if it leads to more sales. If that doesn't work, try another value and apply it a different way to measure the response. The key is to remind your customers as much as you can that that threshold exists. Build it into your site by putting it at the top of your landing and category pages. Emphasize shipping as a special perk to encourage them to add more items in order to earn it. Just like your products, the more effort you put into upselling free shipping, the better results you can expect overall. However you apply free shipping, it's just another tool that can benefit your online store. Whether it helps you push your products, offload extra inventory, or even build brand loyalty. That's right, offer it in exchange for following you on social media or getting on that email list. The point is that it's a feature you can tailor to suit your needs and make those conversions. But if you need to know anything more about it, go ahead and leave us a comment below. Give us a like and subscribe to Printify to stay on top of all things print on demand.